Tell me what's new with Aero Marine LSA. We had a uh, press release earlier in the month concerning a new bird, and let's start there and work our way back. Well, it's quite an exciting aircraft because it's a, it's a personal sport aircraft is what I like to call it. It's single seat, but the price of a aircraft goes up exponentially with the number of seats. So this airplane, starting price for a finished build, including the builder assist program, it starts at about $35,000. And one nicely equipped like this, I mean with the BRS rocket, transponder, transceiver, glass cockpit with the EFIS and EMS, and an autopilot, and two GPSs, and that tops out at only $50,000. And the performance on this is remarkable. It's got about a 50% greater power to weight ratio than your average LSA. It's really carrying one person, and it's a light aircraft. I mean, the acceleration just sets you back in the seat. And the climb rate is 1,600 feet per minute or more. That's at gross. And the cruise is 100 miles an hour or faster. A nice a little true track autopilot tied into the GPS. You can actually go somewhere and carry a roll on like you would on an airline. Plus, we have alternative power systems coming. The airplane is so clean that it looks like it'll fly for at least an hour and a half on electric power. So I'm really looking forward to that. The engine mount and the cowl is done and we'll be testing that shortly as well. And what I'm really looking forward to judging by my seaplane jacket and 35 years of float flying, is I already have finished amphibs here in the booth. It's kind of a unique system that I can operate it on Bluetooth. So the key fob is mounted on the panel, and there's even a phone app. I can raise and lower the gear wirelessly. The best part of this is with that acceleration and this light weight and those floats, it's just gonna pop out of the water and still have a good cruise and be a really, really fun sport plane. What are the floats gonna cost? Floats are $10,000. The phone app's free. <laughs> okay, glad to hear it. Yeah. The big question, obviously, is can a single-seater survive in this market? We look at LSA, there's a tremendous amount of confusion and concern about the future, especially with whatever happens to third-class medical. It's going to have a strong bearing overall on the whole LSA phenom as it is. But do you think there's really a market for a single place? I'm really hoping so, of course. <laughs> What doesn't really make a lot of sense is $150,000 or $200,000 for a two-seat aircraft. And that just takes it out of the reach of your average pilot. There's a whole lot of people who can afford a Honda Goldwing or Harley-Davidson in the same price as this, from $35,000. Sure, you eliminate the people who really want the two-seaters, but you expand the market base by maybe 1,000%. And if you look at the average flight, it's an hour flight alone. So for the extra $100,000 the pilot is saving, they can rent a two-seat LSA and still have 99500 left in their pocket. Aero TV is brought to you by... Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.